Randy! What the frick, man? I didn't even hear you come in. It's the time to do your questions, bud. I got like three minutes. Right now? Right fucking now. Well, frick, give me the questions then. All right, man. You agreed to do them, so... But the, I'm, I'm using the bathroom here, man. This is a little bit... I don't really feel totally comfortable. You can't see anything, can you? Any of my stuff or anything? Of course not. Okay, let's get these what done then. To? Okay, the, what's, this is the Ask Randy questions for SwearNet. And we got uh, questions here from Megan Vaclin. It's obvious that Leahy is attracted to Julian. Does this ever bother you? Well, Megan, it, it does actually. I mean, I know Julian's attractive and has muscles and stuff. He's always flexing and has that drink. I think it's because he holds his drink all the time. That helps with the bicep muscles. But it, it does bother me that, that Mr. Lay's commenting about how nice his hair smells and what kind of shampoo does he use. You know, like I use nice shampoos and stuff too. I mean, I don't have dandruff or anything. So thanks for making me feel bad by asking that question. Uh, this question is from uh, TrailerParkBoys.org, great organization. They've given me cheeseburgers in the past. It says, if you could win $1,000 bet by going vegan for a week, could you do it? And what would you eat? Oh, Trailer Park, what the frick is vegan? Is, is it a type, is it like a, a deer from Sweden or something? I'd eat deer. I could eat deer burgers. I don't know. I guess I'd win a thousand bucks eating vegan deer burgers from Sweden. Mark Levant Sailor. That's a good name. He's asking, were you with Mr. Leahy just to edge your way into the position of trailer park supervisor upon his retirement? I would never just do something. That's, that's dishonesty, Mark. And if you're doing stuff like that in your life to get ahead in the world, uh, you should stop. You know, don't pretend, be real, tell the truth, and people will like you. Okay, question here from Jordan Thielman. Randy, are you aware of the dangers of your diet? What would it take to convince you to switch to a healthier diet? What in the frig are you talking about, Jordan? Cheeseburgers are like the part of the four food groups, you know? I get burger meat when I get my own homemade burgers. I get it from a... A farmer that grows the cows and they go out and they eat the, the hay. They don't eat all kinds of crap. They're not eating mad cows or anything. It's real. His name's Angus. It gives me Angus beef. It's excellent. And then I got another guy that grows organic vegetables, right? He doesn't piss on them or nothing. He just grows them. Doesn't put any fertilizer or anything. I get lettuce, tomato. That's my roughage that makes it go through. And, you know, the cheese is the worst part, but I can't give up the cheese because the cheese group is very important. So I think my diet's fine, personally. I have regular bowel movements, as you can see. This friggin' camera guy just... Fuck, is the two minutes up yet, man? Dude, you got to finish everyone on that list. <sighs> All right, then. Nicholas Lussier. What are the qualifications for assistant trailer park supervisor? I need a job. Yours looks pretty easy. Yeah, uh, if you uh, want my job, you need to probably uh, get some sunscreen. Uh, it's handy to know how to fix a lawnmower. Um, uh, you got to know a little bit about gardening. And, uh, well, you got to have a bit of a, a personality that enables you to deal with conflict. You can't... Uh, you can't just shy away from people or anything. You gotta, if they're causing shit or a shit storm, you have to, uh, you have to be the sun that gets rid of the storm. That's what Mr. Lady would say. As assistant trailer park supervisor, you may not have many friends. And that's the right way to have it. Because even your friends will frig up sometimes and get drunk and piss on the neighbor's cat. I mean, that's not acceptable behavior. Jill Moody, I hear the Canadian winter can be rough. Don't you get cold running around without a shirt? Uh, well, Jill, uh, it, it does sometimes get cold, but when you run, you work up a sweat. And, um, you know, out here in, in, on the East Coast, it, it doesn't drop down as cold as it gets in, like, the middle of the country. I mean, you know, you go to Calgary and Alberta, it gets really cold there, and then the, the shit nook winds blow through and melt all the snow. I like Calgary. They got good burgers in Calgary, good people, cowboys and cowgirls. Boy, gotta like it. Sean McQuaid, 
Do you have any real skills, Rand? What does Sean mean there? Of course I got real skills. I, can, I make the best cheeseburgers in the world. I, I can mow a lawn uh, when I'm stoned after I hit the bong in about 20 seconds. And without the bong, it takes about 25 seconds. So you, you go faster when you're a little bit stoned. And it makes it enjoyable. Uh, Quantinimitimus Haudrosus. Wow, that's quite the handle. Now you are a trailer park supervisor. How will you deal with potential terrorism? I'll do whatever I can. Like if, if, if anybody says, you know, terrorists are coming to the park, I'd say, hey, that's it. Okay, fine. Let's shut it down. We'll lock it down. Call the boys in blue and lock the terrorists up. But I mean, people throw pressure cookers all the time around here. So how the hell are you supposed to know if they're trying to blow up a marathon or something stupid? I think they should just eat a cheeseburger, get stoned, and then they're not terrorizing anybody. They're just going to have fun, right? Uh, Calvin, Clarence, Frank, shoot. Randy, if you were to win $1 million, what would you do? Wow, I've wondered that many, many times, you know. If I won $1 million, I think, I think I'd probably, I would start my own trailer park. And I'd make sure that I, I had only good tenants who would come in and pay their lot fees. And, uh, you know, like the, the, there wasn't a, a lot of shit going on. And then, of course, I'd have a really nice trailer with one of those double wad barbecues and that has the side burner on it and, and uh, all that stuff. I'd have an outdoor fridge with a lock on it because you got to lock your stuff. And I'd probably, I'd probably get, um, I don't know, uh, yeah, I think I would get a new bed. I get a bed with those posts on it, the four posts. I've always wanted one of those beds, especially when you hang the curtains around it to keep some mosquitoes out. Uh, Dan W., what's your favorite way to spend an evening with Mr. Leahy? Well, that's a pretty personal question, Dan. Um, sometimes we like just to curl up on the couch and, and watch a movie like uh, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, or, or um, maybe like a, a Sylvester Stallone movie like Rocky. We like Rocky. And, uh, you know, and, and have a couple drinks and, and, and maybe get high and just, just relax, you know. Normal Canadian. Uh, Matthew Calder, do you have any big plans for Sunnyvale now that you're a trailer park supervisor? I don't really have any big plans. I'm just going to try to make sure that the, the park runs smooth and, um, you know, maybe try to like spruce things up over the years. The playground looks kind of ratty right now and they got these new things. So maybe we'll try a fundraiser or something to get some money for the new playground and stuff, you know. Ricky still gets on top of it sometimes and he likes to piss down the slide when he's drunk and he watches the piss go down and calls it the piss slide and the piss river. And the last time I went down there, I, I climbed up to get him down and he took me and he threw me down the slide. I, I slid down the piss slide and it, it, well, it got all over my pants and I had friggin' laundry to do. But Tide works good. Tide, cold water Tide, it, it gets the piss stains out. You just put it on, they're gone. I, we did it, man. Is that enough? Can I finish up here now? Oh, fuck, I've been holding my breath practically the whole time, bud. Yeah, you keep the fucking questions, man. Well, you're the one that came in here. Well, dude, I'm in a fucking rush. I told you. You weren't supposed to be having a shit when I found you. Thank you.